Okay guys, let's see how we can install Laravel sale on a Windows machine. So basically we are trying to set up our machine to be running correctly. This command curl and then our example app. But in order to do this, we need to install first Windows subsystem for uh, Linux or WSL and it's a second version because of uh, the performance benefits it uh, offers. Uh, so I'll type here, turn on Windows features are on off. From here, I'll choose Windows subsystem uh, for Linux. It will require you to restart your system after you mark the check, but it's uh, essential. Afterwards, we will need to update um, the kernel of uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, for that, uh, we'll go and install uh, WSL2 Linux kernel update package. The next step is to set uh, this uh, default version of WSL2. To uh, so for this, uh, we will be entering in PowerShell and you need just to paste this command there. And when ready, we will need to install a Linux distribution. Uh, for this, we will go to Microsoft Store and just install Ubuntu. When you have running Ubuntu, you can check this by typing uh, Ubuntu here. And if you are able to have a proper command prompt, this means that everything is correct. You can do sudo apt update and also sudo apt uh, dist upgrade minus yes, which will update your packages after everything is ready. And uh, basically your subsystem will be ready to be used by uh, Docker. We are moving to Docker and you need to install Docker Desktop. You can download it directly from Docker. Last thing uh, we will do is to configure it. Basically we need uh, Docker uh, because Docker will be able to read our um, container packages and will execute commands directly using the Ubuntu version that we'll be having. So that's why we need uh, WSL. So let's run the Docker desktop application. And from here, you need to check uh, one or two things uh, just to be able to have a full integration uh, with the installed Ubuntu. You go to the settings, then you click use the WSL based engine as well as under resources and then WSL integration, you need to uh, enable the integration with the Ubuntu distribution. After everything is ready, you need to close and again restart the Docker desktop application. And now from the installation of Laravel, we can launch this command that will install our application. I've already did this. And if I go to the example application, I see all the files that Laravel offers. And uh, since we are dealing with containers, actually from the directory vendor uh, bin, I can execute sale and then up to start the containers. Of course, uh, when you run this for the first time, it will take you a lot of time in order to set them up. And here I've already uh, saved this time. So as you can see, uh, we have containers created and uh, also their networks and we should be able very soon to use them. As you can see, everything is starting and all the containers are up and running. We can try browsing our application. In a few minutes, it will load up and it's ready. So this is uh, Laravel and uh, it's running inside of a container. Um, of course, you can open up another terminal and here we can launch directly inside of our application Visual Studio Code or your preferred editor. And this way you'll be able to browse the files and edit them. So as you can see, here is our application and you need to know that it runs uh, inside of a container. So all the changes can be applied on the running containers. If you would like to free up some resources and would like to stop the containers, that's quite easy. You just need to go to where they are running and uh, by pressing one time control C, it uh, will send a closing uh, signal for them. Uh, so they will be stopped uh, gracefully. 
All right, guys, that's how you can install uh, Laravel under uh, WSL2. I hope you find the tutorial useful. If you like the information, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.